Hey guys, Jake Peart is currently February 28th, 2020. As you guys know, Warlords of New York is right around the corner, which is March 3rd. This is the brand new expansion that's going to be taking us back to New York City, which is lower Manhattan. There's going to be new gear changes, new brand set changes, new brand sets and gear sets, new exotics, and also new areas to explore, and also new missions and stuff like the global events, leagues, and seasons. This video is going to be talking about the new skills that's coming to Warlords of New York. I won't make this video too long, but if you guys are new, make sure you subscribe. I upload daily Division 2 content, stuff like news, the used and resets, build videos, and much more. But this video is going to be based on the new skills that's going to be added, and the first I'm going to talk about is going to be the Distraction Decoy. Overall, I thought this was probably the coolest skill, but it's probably going to be the one I use the least amount. Uh, but overall, I'm more of a PvP player. This is designed to distract NPCs and possibly even players it might, uh, but I don't think it will work on players because I don't think players are that you know stupid. Um, but this is a quick little video clip of it where the guy actually throws this into a group of NPCs. Now I can see this used in stuff like heroic and legendary missions to use, you know essentially distract some NPCs. You can get around them and take them out, or possibly even throw it to get around a certain area away from the NPCs overall. But overall, I'm really excited to see how this works and see what you guys make with this. Next is going to be the one I know a lot of you guys are probably the most, and that's going to be the fan favorite Sticky Bomb. If you guys played Division 1, you will know this thing was an absolute beast back in the early days of Division when people made one-shot Sticky Bomb builds that literally can just wipe the floor of people, and you could wipe out groups just standing in one you know, section. There'd be like five or six dudes. You shoot this in the middle of them, and it's boom, blow them up, and they'd be dead, which was funny as hell to watch. But the Sticky Bomb in this game is pretty much the same premise, how it works. You have the and the burn and I think there's an EMP variant as well I could be wrong on that but someone said there was shoot it hit LB and detonate the target just like it was in division one and you E and PvP there's also the new fire spreading sticky bomb where you can shoot an and it will burn anything as a radius so if you're fighting hordes of enemies you can essentially shoot them with it burn them alive and I'm really excited to see what you guys use this you know what kind of builds you make with it, what kind of situations uh, clips you guys upload of blowing up a players in the dark zone Next is going to be the one I know most people were really dreading when they saw this in the live stream. And due to the fact, if you guys played Division 1, there was a thing called the Shock Turret, which you could drop down in the DZ and shock people and run away. And sometimes you'd be chasing people for hours because they keep dropping them because they'd have really high skill haste. And essentially you could not even touch them because it'd be Manhunt. And they would just run and drop these and not even use their guns. This is the Shock Trap, or the Trap, whatever you want to call it. Um, it kind of looks like a Rubik's Cube ball or some kind. I think one of those toys or something. That's like pretty cool looking. Uh, but essentially, you can actually use this kind of like a stinger, uh, or the way at least it throws like a stinger. Just pick it up and just throw it into a you know pile of NPCs, and it shot in their way. So this is why I was talking about Division One. So I know some of you guys still have flash shock turret, and if this is being used in the DZ a lot, uh, you'll probably be getting shocked, super annoyed. Uh, but overall, it's you know still pretty cool. You know, happy they're adding more skills to the game instead of just leaving the ones we currently have, and they're giving us more stuff to use. But this is a quick little video, guys. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you subscribe for more Division Two content, and I'll catch you guys all later. Your job, Agent, is to protect this delusion, and I have sworn to destroy it. You can try to stop me, hunt me down, kill me. But this is bigger than any of us.